Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the episode of Last Day Hard of Survival. Today, we return to boys and girls. Ladies and gentlemen, guys, I'm seeing a fabric fantastic day of the most amazing variety. And today, boom, we got something very interesting to go ahead and take a look at. These are actually some concept arts from before regarding the winter locations. And this is something I saw some of you guys bringing up and being like, Star, what are your thoughts on this? And actually, I looked into it a little bit more, and there's actually something very, very interesting regarding these. So what you guys are seeing is three different concept arts for winter locations now here's the interesting thing however these are from a little while back right and we did ultimately end up getting these two winter locations here however these are more randomly generated slash procedurally generated winter locations which kind of follow the two types of locations we are seeing on the left side whereas over on the very right is something a little bit more unique that one actually has different buildings specifically a river a couple of those things that lead me to believe what this may have been is actually an early sketch of something that we've been seeing a lot more of lately an early sketch of locations like the motel of the farm of the police station location like that that respawns every once in a while but such a location that would be present in the north something that is actually specifically missing because the north is very similar to over here except with different types of randomly generated zones like it's got the base over here it's got some random zones you can go to but it doesn't have any locations like the motel like the police station like the bunker like the farm that are on a respawn timer and a little bit more set in stone and that's actually where things really get interesting with what we are seeing on the right now this is actually one potential thing for what this could be that i definitely wanted to bring up and let you guys know about and of course get your guys's thoughts on so at any point if you guys have anything to share let me know in that comment section down below but also what was said was i believe a rough translation after looking into it and attempting some google translate i believe what we are seeing in that upper right hand corner has something to do with the river and like a generator and warming up the river to like keep it warm or keep it from being frozen which makes sense because well in the freaking winter biome dude if there's snow on the ground there's probably a chance that that river may or may not be freaking frozen since uh, it's very cold you know so i definitely wanted to bring this back up because again we've already seen kind of those two concept arts on the left incorporated kind of like throughout these two zones like i would say that these two are definitely a little bit more inspired from those two images on the left whereas that image on the right which does have the buildings and everything it does kind of take the form of more of a like a very specific location that would respawn that's always going to be the same you know just a lot more like a lot more specific specificity is that a word i don't know it's a word now a lot more specificity i d whatever you know what i mean a lot more specific on that right side which just kind of does follow suit with what we have started to see kafir implement a lot lately and i think it's going to kind of follow a similar pattern to what we have seen with just the general development of the game they focused always over here on this general area on this area over here which everyone has access to before ultimately adding in this northern zone and like i'm saying this northern zone really has not had many updates at all so if I, I don't know it just makes perfect sense because they are adding these types of locations the north is missing one of those specifically and the north is one of the only known places that would actually be able to follow what we are seeing because it the ground is frozen and there's a river running through now potentially this could be added in kind of similar to how the farm because before this little stream over here didn't exist but it was added in for the farm so i guess that's a possibility but at the end of the day that circles back to the logic where in order to do that you need to be somewhere with the snow on the ground and currently that only exists in this upper northern area and there is a very conveniently placed river right over here to go ahead and base this location off of so there's a great chance that it will be present somewhere along some of these river banks and the interesting thing is is that that kind of makes sense because the map is going to continue to expand there's still a lot of room to go with this map and i believe it was known that there are i believe like in some of the loading screens they hint towards the city actually being present somewhere up north and in order for us to get to the city we'd have to be able to cross this river at some point and by the looks of it it does appear sorry about that burp there that there are some sort of like river crossing mechanisms or something similar to that over in that right 
picture for that location so there's some very interesting stuff that i wanted to point out regarding why it could be here but there is another possibility because it doesn't like it doesn't necessarily have to be here and it, for there to be snow, that doesn't mean that the location needs to be north of, like, this line right here. Snow could be present anywhere. Like, in some areas, like, even throughout the world, you'll find snow in, like, just potential mountain areas. Like, you can find snow in a variety of areas, variety of climates, etc. And as we know, the ATV and Swamp update is slated to be coming. That's a big update that we are staying tuned for and that we are definitely going to be diving into. And now to fan bringing fantastic time with, so make sure you guys are subscribed to the notification bell to stay up to date with all the info. Not to mention that update game play as soon as it comes out when we'll be covering anything and everything that has to offer but this watchtower over here we will be able to access once we do have the atv which is slated to come in that update we're already ready for the atv pretty much we have everything except that transmission but that's besides the point when this is unlocked it is going to do something similar to what the north does it is going to add in a variety of locations it's going to add in the swamp biome though instead of an oak biome like this and that swamp biome will actually contain something very very nice if we could go ahead and scroll our way down to it a little something known as ash planks however just like the north added in an additional metal as well there needs to be some kind of location that will be adding in metal for this western expansion as well now potentially it could be like some underground cave systems and they could add in a little bit more variety because from what we've seen so far they do look to want to get some variety because like over here we have oak and then over in this west expansion we're going to be having like the swamp with ash planks but there is also the chance where similar to this how there are oak biomes across this river potentially when we expand there will be winter biomes somewhere and should there be winter biomes especially with some mountains up over that way well we well, well, looky here, the river does continue to go through this direction as well. And that's where things actually get really interesting because that means that this landmass over here we could potentially get to maybe like if you can build the ATV and then some way you get over here or you build the chopper, then you get over here. There's just a variety of different ways to go, but it would be interesting to see that expansion because then we'd be able to go west, we'd be able to go this way, but this landmass over here would still be unexplored. And if you have a chopper, you have an ATV, that just makes sense to be the next one that you somehow have to be able to get to by crossing something, which would be this specific river over here. And maybe that new mechanism by which we have to cross it would be doing something with that build building that we are seeing over there so long story short just something very dope thank you to the y'all for suggesting we go ahead and go over this because there's actually like we went over this like way back but now with the new information regarding very specific locations that respawn every once in a while similar to the bunker like the motel the police station and the farm it leaves a whole ton of new possibility for that location on the right that i definitely want to go ahead and go over with y'all but with that said with that done let me know what you guys think regarding it where do you think this location could be coming what do you think we'll be able to do at this location potentially this and this is another interesting thing maybe that's where we get the atv transmission maybe it will be a part of that atv swamp update but it'll be a new location in the north giving the north a purpose to go up there but we can potentially get that atv transmission from there so there's a whole ton of ways that this could all tie in with all the dope things slated for last day 92408 is gonna be the code for today by the way in case you guys are wondering so go ahead and let me know in that comment section down below yo guys' thoughts about all that type of jazz because we definitely got some cool type of jazz going on here and ah I don't know, man. Y'all are creative. I want to hear what you got to say because I know that there are going to be some good thoughts being shared down below. So go ahead and do that. And a reminder that comment is going to put you one third of the way into the Wii U $5 at two such places. Store gift card giveaway. All you got to do as well is make sure to like button and make sure you subscribe. That will enter you in on today's video. Y'all go ahead and enter in on every single last day on Earth video when Saturday rolls around. We'll pick a random video from the past week. Pick a random comment from that random video in Zet. We'll be with for the week and we'll kick off a new weekly giveaway that exact same Saturday as well. So make sure you stay tuned with that notification bell hit to stay up to date with all the latest and greatest of Last Day on Earth information such as that which we are sharing today. Not to mention information about coming updates, especially as that information does continuously get released we've been getting a lot of information lately about the coming update to sector 7 which is pretty much it no it, it literally has been confirmed that is going to be the next update like i'm pretty sure cloud did confirm it over on discord that sector 7 will be getting that train station clan base a common area for you and your clan to be able to chill at and you know that we are going to be chilling hard over there so yeah not just will it be dope that subscription bell that notification bell for all that info but also for all that update 
gameplay because as soon as that gameplay or as soon as the update drops we gonna be dropping all the gameplay imaginable in the world going over anything and everything that the update has what to expect what to do everything like that not to mention it's a great way to stay up to date with every single video y'all can enter in on for that weekly giveaway and of course all the other dope survival games going up on the channel as well and a hello hello to you mister it appears he's got turrets Okie dokie, we got a little bit of a doozy for a raid, and this, in case you guys are unaware, is a revenge raid, which we are doing today, because our, our base, it was broken into, it was a sad camper, but then all of a sudden, muzzle tov, there were footsteps, and we are going to get little thing known as revenge if i could get a little thing known as uh within here somewhere i'm not seeing okay there we go so here's the giant wrap around uh he does have a variety of turrets protecting his base which is a little bit spooky we want to make sure to go ahead and avoid that we want to figure out the best way to break into this guy's base this guy's name is long i tried doing some research on this base this base is not any i was not able to find any information about this anywhere out there wasn't able to find any videos about the raid wasn't able to find anyone who has raided this fella before so hold on we gotta go and not get shot by those too much they don't, they're not hurting us though which makes me wonder exactly what type of thing that is but we do have access to 2c4 today hopefully this will be enough for what we need to do Oh, we have, oh, check that out, check that out. Okay, okay, right off the bat. Not the greatest thing in the world, but listen, it is something I will happily take. We got a little thing known as a generator right over here, and potentially we could try to break into his base through there and see if that leads to anything. However, I'm tempted to go where his turrets are, you know, because I I don't know, guys. I feel like his turrets are protecting the good stuff, and ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. I just realized it's gonna be we're gonna make a lot of noise trying to get this generator out So maybe we'll get it out a little bit later because I think I do want to do some damage over those turrets I wonder if I could toss my c4 Where the turrets are and maybe like do some damage to them in addition to blowing open a wall over there Because there's like a variety of walls we could break into as well And it, it just looks like that side of his base is a lot more protected than this side, you know We do need to be a little bit strategic with our c4 so I, I don't know, man. That's the only side where there are turrets present and accounted for. And I feel like that's something that we ourselves need to account for. And hopefully we can account for it well enough. Because like I'm saying, yeah, I, I wish I had a more C4. I was not able to get any more after, uh, after last episode. Though. Let's go and juke through that. I was not able to get my hands on any more. Unfortunately, we did not have any good luck over in... Uh, the tingy mabobs. What are the tings called? Uh, uh, I can't think of the name. Uh, the, the red zones. That's the word I'm looking for. But I do think I want to go knock, knock, party a clock on one of these areas where there's literally a turret. Like, I kind of want to break into that one, maybe. Although, there's only one turret there. And this is going to be risky because turrets make noise. But so be it. This looks like a pretty promising base. I say we try and do this YOLO. Okay, so they're not damaging me. So I think I know what to do. We're going to, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so the wall over that way. Okay, hold on. Let's go over here. Over here. All right, let's just toss some C4 right over there. And let's see if we do any damage to these turrets. Hello. Good morning. Uh, oh, it's still alive. Oh, no, that's a different turret. Or is it? I can't tell. Did I not just blow up the turret? Is that thing? Hold on. Why can't I shoot the turret? Hello? Hello, turret? I, okay, that turret maybe just survived. Is this turret glitched over here or something? I I don't know, man. I might have like disabled it on accident. Let's, we gotta pop this bad boy open though and open this up. And it looks like we might, uh, let's go and finish you off really quickly. Okie dokie. I guess we took out both turrets. Not too shabby. Whoop, 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 whoop. We got some of these guys we gotta take out as well. Let's go ahead and make sure that we are doing that. We could try and take advantage of all these spikes over here. But yeah, this is going to be a tricky little raid we got. I really wish I had more C4. I don't know if what we have is going to be enough, but it might be. There's a chance that there's only, like, it's a honeycomb. And we'll just be able to break through some level 1 walls and not know. It looks like there might need to be more C4. Oof. That is a fat L if I have ever seen one. We do have one more C4. What is this? Oh, he's got something over here. Hey, another generator. We might be able to do like the respawn glitch and 
walk home with multiple generators, but that uh, appears to be about all that we got popping off at the moment. Dang, 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 dang. That is unfortunate. If I've ever seen anything. Uh, he just had to be protecting something, man. You don't just have two turrets chilling here. That's so random. Don't tell me we're about to whiff on this raid, man. It's going to be a bad raid to whiff on. We got another C4. Uh, oh, hold on. We got to avoid that turret over there. I'm not trying to get shot at by multiple things. Worst case, we do have a couple of chests we could try opening up, but this raid does have some massive whiff potential. Mm. Grab that. We're going to continue breaking inwards and crossing our fingers. We can find something good. That, that has to be the reason there's turrets there. Like, why would you randomly just put two turrets right next to each other like that and all three of them in this general area? I don't know, but we about to find out. Oh, Nelly, let's hope that this is worth it, boys. Is the 2C4 enough to get us? Ooh, maybe, maybe. Oh, oh, oh. This, this is promising. I like this. I like this a lot. Ooh, okay, okay. Hello, Mr. Chest. Are you holding something good by chance? Did we maybe hit some sort of a... Uh, I, I wouldn't call that a jackpot. Maybe that's like the, uh, you know, pick four, or like the pick three jackpot. Like, you know, that like, uh, kind of like not the, not the, not the Powerball. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on, that thing threw me off. Not like the Powerball jackpot or anything major, you know, but I'm talking like, you know, where you like pick three numbers. It's like that little local, local lotto. Not as big scale as the Mega Millions. Powerball, whatever it is. I don't know, man. I just, there's hope though. There's hope. This is a heavily protected base. We've somehow managed to... I, it, it looks like we got into the good part. It genuinely does. Is this the best part, though? I don't know. There's not enough research about this base. If any of you guys have raided this base by chance and maybe know more about it, uh, please spread that info. Let your boy know. Do something like that. It appears that there is a... What should I call? It appears that there's a stone wall right there, which was a little bit unfortunate. It does appear that there's another chest here, which was a little bit fortunate. So I will take that, and maybe this will be solid, and nope, and if we want to get further into the base, it is going to take more C4, so I guess we're just going to dig around this corner and see if this corner is actually worth anything. Corner, please, be worth something. Oh, oh that, that's a blue chest. That, that's giving me hope. Why? It's, it's blue. That's all that I got, man. We're grasping at straws. It, it looks promising, though. Like, he genuinely has some pretty... Like, these aren't pushover chests or anything. Good thing that we brought those extra hatchets. We'll be able to do a good amount of break in here, but... It's getting spooky. It's getting spooky. To say the least. Maybe this is, like, his most protected part of his bait. No, there's no way, man. Because it's, it's not that good. <laughs> At least so far. Ah! Alright, well, for now, let's focus a little bit here. We got... Oh, my God. That generator is going to get me killed one of these days. We got to focus a little bit here and do a little bit of running around town. Running around town. And then take out these toxic abominations right over here. And as soon as these guys go down and hopefully don't get cornered too badly, we've managed to avoid that damage right over there. We'll put the finishing blows on him and we'll continue making our way through this raid. This might be the only raid for today, by the way, guys. Sorry if the video's a little bit on the shorter side, but like I've been saying the last couple of days, I got that huge midterm coming up in, uh, well, at the time of me recording this, an hour and a half. I'm going to try to have this video uploaded before the midterm starts, though, and hopefully you guys can wish me some luck. I'm pretty sure I've been having, like, an anxiety attack or, like, a panic attack or potentially an extended heart attack some kind of attack has been happening to me all freaking day about this thing this is for like my ridiculously hard class that i mean that the, i don't know all i know is that people have passed this class with like 40 percent in it like that's how much they need to like curve the grade otherwise everyone would fail it that's how ridiculously hard it is and uh just wish me some luck, boys. That's all that I could say. So sorry if this video is a little bit on the shorter side, but that's the reasoning for it. I've been studying all day. Sorry if this video is a little bit later. I've been trying to upload it earlier again, as you guys may have been noticing, but it's just, today has been a storm of bad, bad, bad things. And let me just say, it's very hard to study when you cannot stop stressing about that test. I've been trying to stop, man, but literally I woke up and I've just, I like, I, I haven't felt bad. I haven't felt sick. You know that like feeling in your chest where you just like feel super stressed out 
You guys know what I'm talking about, right? Maybe? I don't know. I've had that feeling like all day. It has not faltered. It has not wavered. Not one bit. So that has uh, not been the best experience in the world. But this over here. Another chest. This could be good experience. Nope. No experience at all. Okay. 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 We could continue breaking that way. Well, we still got a couple of those hatches, like I was saying. So we'll continue breaking through some of these walls and just seeing what we can unearth. It looks like... You know what he probably did? I think he honeycombed his entire base. So these bases are brutal to raid because you literally... Oh, it's going to be really bad with the big one, too. We might want to break some of these extra walls, just have some maneuvering room. But, uh, yeah, like, we can't... We can't go anymore this way. We can only go this way. So I kind of want to continue breaking through some of these walls and just kind of see if they lead anywhere. Like, they just lead to more chests from the looks of it so far. Mm. I'm going to grab those other things. I just, I don't want this to be too closed because if, if that area is too closed, it might be game over for us, guys. Because what might happen... Is we'll just get cornered by the big one. We can do the gender glitch, which if you guys don't know, if you uh, very quickly like hit this, and then if you change your gender and confirm, it will respawn you on the map. So if we're cornered, that could be a last resort. But we really need to grab some stuff from this base too, because we have used 2C4. We do not have anything to show for it yet. I would like something to show for the fact that I've blown through 2C4 and it looks like someone died taking a shower. That's whack. <laughs> I don't know if I'd want to die taking a shower. That sounds awful. Um, how many more of these do we got to go? Got a couple of these. I just want to make sure we have enough to break through everything too. And I do not want to get cornered. How deep does this rabbit hole go? That's another thing I'm trying to figure out. Let's break through this thing here. See where this takes us. Hope we don't break through too many of those. We got another one over there. We can still go this way. Oh man, dude, it's not, like I don't, I don't think we can continue doing that. We gotta, we gotta, we got these two chests over here. We gotta break into. Maybe we'll break through like one more and see. I kind of want to break into those iron benches. Those might be kind of worthwhile. So I'll stuff in those up with a chop a piece right there. And I'm not going to lie, I kind of, uh, just to give us some maneuvering room so we don't get super cornered, I, I want to break this. It's just super dangerous, man. If you do long hallways, it is not going to end in a fun way for you. So I'm thinking this is how we ended off. We are down to our last hatchet. So let's go and soften up the rest of these chests with two chops a pop. One, two, and then those will be ready to break with a single chop. And we should be able to get most, if not all, things. But at the very least, we want to walk out of here with something. So I'll grab, like, I don't know. I'm, I've been trying to do, like, try to work our way towards some melee mods. I think those require some leather. So I'll take some leather. I'll uh, take whatever clothes I could get. I'll take some more food. We are uh, desperate for loot, if you guys can't tell. This has not been the best rate. It's been a very dope base, though. This has definitely been fun. But uh, the, the rewards, those have not been on the fun side. But yeah, man, blowing through these turrets was definitely an interesting call. Probably could have just... I mean, honestly, we could have just broken through here. It would have been fine. And not had to deal with those turrets. But it's like, what were those turrets protecting, you know? I, I, I feel like they'd want to protect something good. And like I'm saying, maybe we could have went even deeper into the base. But whatever it is, that's not a question for us to answer anymore. Instead, uh, I'm going to grab all these things. And then I'm going to be ready to throw those out. Not throw them out, but put them away, I suppose. Oh, let's go ahead. Uh, Let's eat off those two jerky. We don't need whoop, two jerky. That's a little bit unnecessary. Um, Let's go back. I just want to make sure that we put everything away that we need to. I know that there's that extra generator. This base is already a handful. Let's put the best things that we can away. Uh, I'd say that's the best. And yeah, like, like I'm like I'm trying to say, guys, the loot has not been kind. <laughs> it's been a little on the unkind side. All right, so we're pretty organized there. Kind of the way I like to organize my inventory is just whatever I want to get rid of the most on the right, whatever I don't want to get rid of on the left. And then I got those empty slots too. We can just double click an item. But otherwise, we do need to. Oh, oh, oh. No, 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 no. Don't want that accidentally activating that. 
And the moment of truth has arrived. Let's see what's the worst that could happen in here. Alrighty then, let's chop up numero uno. What you got? What you got? What you got? Whoop, 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 whoop. I like what I see. 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 Okay, okay, okay. Let's just kind of put some of these things away. Grab some of those things. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, the big one is yeah, he gonna be coming. He gonna be coming. Oh, this is a toxic abomination. Where's the big one? Where you at, you schmuck? Oh, he has arrived. He has arrived, and I'm going to de arrive. Beautiful, beautiful. And we're gonna want to bring him. Didn't even get that hit off. We're gonna want to bring him right around this way. There was some decent stuff in that chest. So, okay. Promising. Promising. And what we're gonna want to do is bring him right around here or so. Eh. I'm... Ah. I don't know, because we need to do, like... We gotta do a giant run around. Our chopper isn't in the best position to capitalize on his base so far. But we do want to capitalize. But, okay, we got a pistol already. Got some more armor. Things are kind of turning around. We just decided to break into the wrong chest first. I'll, I'll take it better than nothing. Let's eat up that food to get us that full health. And we got to be prepared to sprint and hopefully make our way to see what else there is. Ah, oh, man. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Yeah, because I, I, we respawn over here. So he's going to try to chase us around the base long ways. Yep, you can already see him on our tail. And we're just going to want to... I don't even know. Ah, man, it's just... It's always so awkward doing it like this. Whoop, 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 whoop. Let's make our way through and through. Let's chop up this thing right here. See what this has very quickly. Oh, another pistol over there. He's getting those hits off on us. That thing had some decent... Oh, no, dude. That... I almost got stuck on that turret. That would have been bad. That would have been bad. Alrighty, then. It looks like it had some more decent things, though. I wonder if I could get him to, like, run to the other side of this wall. Come on, big one. Run on the other side of the wall. I know you want to. I know you want to. He does not want to. Not tricking him today. As much as I wish we could. I'm just trying to see if there's any spots like that that we could trick him with. I do not think so. And he's starting to do some decent damage, which is not ideal. I don't know what the Abomination's doing. Hello, Abomination. That's what you're doing. All right, come on, big one. I just, I want the big one to hurt me, and then I want to go kill the Abomination. Because I don't want to be dealing with the both of them. Okay, or I'm just going to heal up right there. Come on, Abomination. You got to go. You got to go. You got to go. Go, 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 go. There we go. We got to heal. We got to heal. Got to heal. 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 And I'm going to let him get one more hit off on us. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, we almost had him on that run around. And then we're going to get him right there. Okay. We may have got him in a better position that time. Hopefully have a nice head start on him when we respawn. I know there were a couple of things in there that were decent. So I'm going to try to toss these out. I, I, I mean, these aren't that valuable in the first place. So I'm going to toss these out. We got a couple of pistols at least. Our, our luck's turning around. I really hope my armor doesn't break because he's going to be doing more damage to us. And I don't want to die. Dying, not ideal. Getting some stuff, ideal. So let's hope that the ideal thing happens and uh, things come up. Millhouse, that's ideal. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. We got to sprint, got to sprint, got to sprint, sprint, sprint. And make our way through here. I don't care if the turret or whatever notices us. Do your thing, turret. I wish my sprint was a little bit more extended, though. That'd be nifty. And then we want to make our way through here. And we got this chest over here, which had... Okay, some paint, some of that. Whatever we got in here, which is nothing super valuable. Okay, he's going to start hitting us again. He's still doing some decent damage. And then we just got to go and break the workbenches. So we're going to go and do that. Oh, alf, oof. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Nice, we got a little head start on him. Although that doesn't help here. Unless he wants to start running around. Although this also doesn't help our run around tactic. I don't know. And then we'll run out of bounds right there. Okay. And we just want to break the last two workbenches. Even if we only get to break one in time. Whatever. I feel like if one has good stuff, then we'll know the other one does. If one doesn't, we'll kind of have a rough idea. Uh, let's use up these band-aids that we got. Like, I, I guess the hall's getting a little bit better. I don't know, man. It was definitely a cool base, but we just... I don't know. My hunch was that the turrets would be protecting the best stuff. That does not appear to be the case. At least from what we've seen so far. Okay, we gotta get back to sprinting our bootes off. We should have a nicer head start on him than last time. Go ahead, do your thing, Turt. Do your thing. I don't mind. I don't mind. And then, oh, he's still on our buns. Pretty hot, pretty hot up in here, boy. And then we got, oh, just some iron up in there. And the other one's probably gonna be iron. I'm I'm not. He's, he's doing a lot of damage at this point. We're calling it there. I'm, I'm making the executive decision. Aborts. Aborts. There is... At least what we were able to get into out of Long's base. I wish that went better. Don't get me wrong. But i that's just a rough base to break into, man. Because by the looks of it, he had an entire honeycomb going throughout his base. 
it wasn't the ideal base for the big one trick because like it didn't take up all of the map so i i don't know i'm not happy we used 2c4 on that at least we got some pistols and some armor back but uh that appears to be the extent of it but with that said with that done that's gonna start wrapping up this episode of last day on a survival if you guys did enjoy go and let me know what you guys think regarding hey if you guys happen to raid long maybe know where some better stuff is maybe anything like that spread some info down below so this useful can be fan freaking fantastic so this video can be fan freaking fantastic and useful for anyone who might be trying to raid long and utilize the information from this video as well if anyone's got some info on that go ahead and drop it down below but not to mention let me know what you guys think regarding that winter structure because i think it's very interesting Definitely a lot of things that that could go with. But with that said, with that done, that's going to start wrapping up for me for now. Best of luck to you guys and gals. Get in the chopper, gas tank, and join in the chopper squadron. Best of luck bringing your pup. Again, the true friend perk. Leveling up your own perks and skills. Not to mention, find the very best blueprints and building up the very best attachments for the very best weapons that you got. Best of luck building up your base. Going on in the dopest of raids. Defeating all the bosses that the game has to throw at you. Getting past the multiplayer wall. And most important of all, having yourselves. An absolutely fabric fantastic time all throughout. But that's gonna do it for me. Thank you guys a whole time for watching. Hope this was an awesome one. And I'll talk to you next one. See ya.